So it's a new so crew town. So where was the first crew town? Where was the first crew town? Back there. The bar room, the crew town. That is me and Coco Irga. Anything that might happen in the borough. <laughs> when you bend and go right and go to the good time, you go straight in front of the damn hospital. So where the man going? He went, he went that way. Where? Oh, go where? Yeah. Okay. When you start going straight and going towards the good time. Yeah. People back here. Oh! Oh! Here I go. Wow. And, and, and uh, almost 70% is so, so, I mean, it's youth. what is in place and what is not in place and what we why the system that we can lobby for you know, working out some things. Well, this is uh, our national overseer from the U.S. Uh, and uh, the and chairman for the council. So we are just trying to get Pastor Kennedy, what's the goal here? What we came to ask permission to tour the facility and see the kinds of uh, a blessing we can be because we believe that the time has come to really make a difference in our nation. Since we live in the Western world, we want to be able to become voices for our people you know, faces for our people to go back and say, what are these are? And practically to even mobilize the medical community in the Western world, especially those that are from Liberia, to really be able to give back in meaningful ways, because many of them serve and give a whole lot to the West, but they can become voices and faces and vessels, you know, used to impact the nation while they're even in the Western world, because we believe that needs are here, problems are here. So instead of just talking about what the problems are, like we've been saying, it's time to start making, you know, lasting difference in just whatever small way, but not despising our small beginnings. So we believe that's why we're here at this time. We know that we're here now for a medical missions, uh, a surgical medical mission program that starts on Saturday, actually, running into the uh, following Saturday. Uh, the Lord blessed and through uh, people of goodwill, uh, 114 medical beds were donated to JFK. And so just going forward, we're saying, God, open doors, make a way, and make us a blessing to our nation and people. So that's why we're here. Amen. Not much to say. I think you said all you said it all. Uh, I don't have anything to say. Everything has been captured in what I said. So we went to the different departments asking what specifically they needed. Uh, How many actual machines do you have? Yeah. Yeah. There's no food. Yeah. The hospital staff was kind enough to give us a tour, explain their different duties and what they needed for their sectors. Our goal was to provide equipment so that they were more effective after we left. Well, I'm in my room, in my home. Yeah, so she's reporting you that way, whatever the needs are, we can go back and say, these are these in the emergency ward at the Mention Hospital coming from the horse's mouth, meaning the director or the head you know, of this division, you know, telling us what the So just tell us as much as we need. A lot of equipment like French arms, machines, the electronic oxygen. Do we have the manual, which is the tank, but we don't have the other the oxygen pressure, so we get the compressor. We don't have the machine, we 
compost machine. They don't have compost machine yet. They don't have this one. They don't have this one. They don't have this one. They have the number one. They don't have So give me some of the things. Uh, the ladies or some of the things. Some don't have meals. 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 Some don't yeah. So what kind of drugs you mean like epinephrine, emergency yeah. antibiotics, that yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, listen, the person is Yeah, department? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I don't know why you people came today, but I think I will just introduce you to my wall. Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is the ERO, which consists of two beds, two active beds. Where we do some things about the patient. Yeah. When they are in the unit, we transfuse them. We have two beds. This whole unit consists of 32 beds. Okay. This is the PR department here. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is our resting station. Yeah. Um, this is where we will resuscitate patients who put them here for okay. just the moderate sound. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Where we can only put new born babies so we want them to go to the hospital. Normally we see like we have six major cases that we see in a pediatric department. One is pneumonia. The second is malaria. The tear in units, the tear is birth asphyxia. Yeah. And neonatal sepsis. Yeah. And then brain cases yeah but it do happen season not during season mm -hmm. when season approaching and then when the dry season approaching we have a lot of brain cases here so they have the beds but no mattresses. They need the shoes. Okay. Alright. Okay. 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 This chair for that year needs to have the chair. So we are building this chair for the entire place to say have chair to come. We have chair all in the middle here. Mm -hmm. But quite recent time, we actually done all of everything. You can see the but even if you had everything, do you have storage for them? We have storage. We have a lot of storage at the back. We got one across the road there. That, the Oster building there. So you always have another storage across the across road? Across the road. There we keep the blow up from the oh, It shall okay. be tobacco mostly in my lady. We have one to OPD. But Can you call them lower form? Lower form. Global form. Global form. Oh, global. Yeah. Okay. We got one from myself to the OPD. It's empty. Oh, completely empty. Yeah, we don't have anything here. We get one warehouse moving across here, right behind the security boat here. Mm -hmm. We get some across here. All are empty. We don't have. Drugs. What? But then, what you're talking about then is a listing of what the drugs, what the needs are. Not just saying one, two, three things. I mean, you gotta give us an entire list. We have the entire listing. If you can give me an email, I can email it to you. Uh, Pastor B. Yeah. And I just wanted to clarify two things. So the first is we are working alongside the hospital systems. We are not taking away their jobs. 
Um, we are just trying to help them and make sure that they're more effective once we leave. And the second thing is you're going to see a lot of poverty in these videos. And the reason for that is because those are the impoverished areas that we are serving. That is not representative of the entire Liberian population.